I am Maria Garcia de Florin. On October 10, 2020, a 15-year-old boy captured the attention of the entire world. He became the most spread news on social networks, not only for his good physical presence and his smile, but for being so young and declared blessed within the Catholic Church. The step before being a saint. Pope Francis mentioned him in the apostolic exhortation Christus Vivit as an example of life for young people, especially for the presence and mission of young people on social networks. Carlo was born in London, United Kingdom on May 3, 1991. His father and mother were Italian and were there for work, but that same year they returned to Italy and lived in the city of Milan. Carlos stood out for being very dedicated to computers and the world of internet, computing. Of course, everything he knew, he used to evangelize. He created a virtual display of Eucharistic miracles around the world that we can still visit virtually to this day. Passionate about soccer, Carlo reminded everyone that we were created unique <coughs> and unrepeatable and that each one has a special mission. That is why he said, everyone is born originally, but many die as photocopies, alluding to the importance and value of each one of us being able to discover God's dream, being able to do his will and live authentically without being carried away by the fashions and nonsense of the society in which we live. With his life, Carlo marked a path that can help us discover what our mission is in life. Knowing the life of Carlo Acutis is an opportunity that we all have to refocus our gaze on Jesus with his intercession. Just as Carlo stated, being united to Jesus is my life project. Each of us today can ask him to teach us to discover what is truly important. And thus he answered, prayer, Eucharist and service to the most in need. These are the fundamental pillars in his life of faith. He said, the Eucharist is my highway to heaven. Likewise, closeness to our mother Mary, the only woman in my life, as Carlos called her, is crucial to not feel alone on the pilgrimage to heaven. He prayed the rosary daily. He tried to go to mass every day. He frequently stayed praying the holy hour. In addition, he went to confession once a week. Trying to persevere on this path It's an attitude that helps strengthen us to live the virtues of faith, hope, and love in each of our environments, despite the adversities that may arise. Carlo was diagnosed with leukemia at the beginning of 2006. Upon entering the hospital, he, st he said to his mother, Mom, I'm not leaving here anymore. And he decided to offer all his sufferings for the Lord, the Pope, and the Church. He died at the age of 15 on October 12, 2006, the day of Our Lady of Pilar. He was buried in Assis at his request due to the great love he had to St. Francis. Friends, Carlo, this young man who was able to use new communication techniques to firmly and courageously transmit the gospel, to communicate values and beauties, this young man who taught us to commit ourselves to concrete actions for the good of other people is part of history of our time because with all his youth and his drive for life, he shouted to the world, with God, we always win.